guys and welcome back to a new episode welcome back to a new vlog i really missed vlogging time is short my life is full lately and i'm trying to do my best but here i am and ready to start a very nice cozy fall vlog in munich and give you a little bit of life updates and what i'm up to so all the new things all the good things uh, because a good few important things are happening right now in munich that i want to talk so, about first of all right now it's september and we're heading to october already oh my god and if you know or if you don't know in this period of time oktoberfest is happening in munich so the whole city is transforming for approximately three weeks into this realm of beer drinkers <laughs> no i'm joking for this traditional bavarian festival everyone is partying everyone is in high spirits and oktoberfest was not held in the last two years due to corona so now everyone is partying again there's a lot of tourists coming there's a lot of good spirits basically so this is what we've been up to and i will try to make and as well an oktoberfest vlog to show you a little bit around but i will keep this one just like a short informative one about what's happening and do the next one just focus there's on a lot of things that are changing behind the scenes in my life I'm still working towards my dream career, I'm still making moves, I'm still networking, I'm still living my life, I'm learning German and everything in between. So it's a lot of things right now happening. A lot of things that I'm focusing on and changing, especially in terms of content, because I actually started to put more time and to learn even deeper everything that comes to content creation. Uh, the, the blessing in this situation with my job over the last month was that it gave me really the time to think like what I want to do next, what I want to do, what I love. And I came to the conclusion that doing content creation and sharing with you experiences is what has like. always been kind of my dream to, to travel the world and to live all these amazing experiences. As I was starting to have all these moments and leave them, I was just feeling always super inspired to share them. So I kind of put my Instagram and my TikTok account into this travel niche, into this experience niche. And yet here I am with YouTube and here is probably my biggest situation that YouTube will probably go as well through some kind of rebranding, changing. And I think it's hard for me to kind of stick with just one, one, one theme, which was the, the manifesting one in the beginning. It was never actually meant to only be about manifesting. It was also meant to be about personal development and sharing about my experiences. But as I go now and as things are evolving, I really feel called to share more of how my life is here, more of the things that I'm learning, more of the amazing experiences that I have. I still am 100% focused on love attraction, on manifesting, but I want to show it like properly to you how do i use it and how i'm manifesting certain experiences so probably that's kind of the way in which the content is going to be more and more although i feel that instagram and tiktok will be super focused on the travel part and maybe not so much personal i feel that here on youtube i can really i don't know be myself i love this i love creating videos especially long long format videos and i love to just be like here coming rough talking with you like with friends and sharing all these things like behind the scenes that are happening in my life let me know what do you think about this change let me know for how long have you been watching my videos i know some of you got here because of my manifesting of the job or because of the manifestation of moving to another country but I really like to hear your opinion. I hope you'll really stick around because I really put all my heart into this community and I still want to give you like good things that I'm trying, like experiences and to motivate you and inspire you. Even though maybe this comes with a little bit of confusion and maybe like different types of content as I think I'm kind of trying to figure out my voice on this platform and how I want my content and my videos to be to be like from now on. And I am super confident in my evolution into the things that I want to put out and how I want to do the vlogging and content from now on. And I'm super confident that things will get better in the end. And 
it will turn out to be something super nice. Like my words, I cannot wait <laughs> to make the video about manifesting a new apartment that is much better than this one and less noisy. Anyways, other than that, Munich weather is already so fall-like since two weeks ago, I think, or something like this. It really dropped the temperature like super fast. It's already pretty cold during the night. I'm already cuddled up into the winter clothing and it's already this kind of cozy atmosphere all around the city. I will actually go today with one of my friends to buy some fall decorations, some candles, especially with some fall scents. So I'm super excited for that. And maybe, who knows, I will find some other cool pieces for fall, for winter, for clothing, because I do need some stuff to update a little bit my wardrobe with things that are worn out or not, re not really so wearable. Yeah, today is anyway. sunny, so I will take you with me on a short walk. And I will show you a little bit of Munich and this fall atmosphere. So let's go. everything all together uh, but yeah here we are having a nice walk in the park i'm so excited and so happy that this park is literally just across the street from my home uh, because it's really a oasis of peacefulness but anyway uh, on today's agenda i'm slowly getting ready for the weekend i have a friend coming to visit and we are going to go to oktoberfest so i'm going to film that as well and something interesting happened to me this week because I kind of saw a message with this on the same line with taking rest and not rushing things and kind of being okay with where you are and I happened to saw it yesterday like four times and I could not not see it of course but it's really kind of matching it is, I really think it's really a sign from the universe to like really slow it down because I'm obviously and I feel very not okay with where I'm in career point from career point of view and language and everything but I cannot rush this process anyway takes time I really feel that this is such an important lesson to be okay and to accept where you are and to find the blessing in the situation and I must be honest I haven't done this so much I was feeling just not grateful that I'm here. I was like having opportunities but not taking them and so on. So it's really interesting. I will definitely reflect on this because I saw it for so many times. And at the same time, I really do feel that I have to chill and I have to relax because this whole stress of trying to solve as many things as possible in just a very short amount of time is definitely having some results on my body and I don't want that in a negative way so it's better to stop it before it's going much worse <laughs> Hi, I'm back home you guys and I wanted to do the quick shopping haul and show you what I bought over the last days uh, because I said that I was going into the city with my friend and I did buy some small stuff for the house and for this upcoming season because I was out of them, let's say so. Uh, so one of the first things that I absolutely loved I started to do it since last year was that I bought a candle with a pumpkin spice flavor. I absolutely love it and take this from me make sure that the candle is made out of 
something like natural wax and essential oils so try to have it as natural as possible nothing artificial because i was reading more and more over the last years about this and it's absolutely insane how all these artificial flavors and artificial smells and everything are actually hormonal disruptors so they kind of cause havoc in your body so i tried to find something as minimal invasive as possible to, to the body another thing that i bought was this pretty cute necklace which is for my oktoberfest costume so for the traditional bavarian costume girls women usually wear something like a choker and it's super nice it's super fitting and i was not aware that it's actually with natural pearls when i bought it and i recently found out that pearls are worth almost nothing right now especially so let's say pearls that are not natural made like in oysters these are still very expensive but nowadays pearls are just man-made so they're actually super super affordable let's say to not say cheap but they still add a pretty nice and elegant feeling to your outfit so i absolutely love it and the last thing that i bought which is more for the upcoming season is this new pair of black boots so super simple but i was kind of missing those for my winter outfits like a simple black pair of boots the the old one is already super broke and super outworn this is a nice item to have to accessorize the outfit here but one of the things that i did over the last days was to do like a deep decluttering deep cleaning i really feel like doing this every start of the season and i think it's really important to get rid of the old things that are maybe not use not usable don't make you feel so good anymore and just like invest in some good pieces that make you feel absolutely your best and it really adds a nice touch to your to your life to your day-to-day -day life so i'm not shopping anymore as much as i used to do it before i'm not so obsessed with it i'm really much more conscious when it comes to this for environmental reasons for money reasons because i just realized how much we tend to invest in things that maybe we wear like once or twice or that we get bored super easily and then the next trend is coming so i really try to be conscious about this and now especially that i work in marketing i know even more how all these things work backstage and how the products are placed in front of the public and how much psychology is there and just basically how much you have to pay attention to to all these Other things. things that i have been doing and i want to cover it shortly which i think would be maybe interesting for some of you that are maybe looking also for a job or one or are wanting to like change their career or their fields or everything because i said this this video is about finding the best into every situation let's put it like this and yes i mentioned before that the last months not having not having a job was also like a good part because i could travel first of all i could do a lot of courses that i didn't have time before and this whole process has actually pushed me even more to network because networking, I think, is one of the best things that you can invest in to become better. So a good skill that you can that you can grow. It's not something that you're born with it. And even if you're an introvert, and I am an introvert, you can learn how to network. And I think that introverts can really create much better, deeper relationship one-on-one -on -one with other people. What I've been doing, and I think it's super fun, is that I try to put down on paper all the opportunities that are now coming my way because sometimes i tend to think that oh nothing's happening because i don't have it yet my end result however a lot of things are happening and i think it's super important to pay attention to them i think it's super important to like go to events so try to find events in your city you have like facebook groups you have different apps I think for Germany there's one called Meet Up or something and there's also, there's also like Bumble that is a dating app that you can use to find business partners 
one this is super important second thing is that i was paying more attention to facebook and instagram and coaches that teach you how to get the best opportunities for yourself and i did learn a lot of how industry works and even though right now maybe i'm not sure how i'm going to use all this information i'm sure that in the future is still something that i'm going to use and take advantage of one thing that i try to proactively do is to get as much in contact with people when it comes to networking and i was super lucky and blessed that really so many of my friends and people that i knew and even colleagues from my previous work offered to like help me with job search and to off with offers or like company referrals and not just in germany everywhere you are in the world to have this kind of connections and i also try to reach myself to other people that are working in the industry that i want to work and maybe ask them some questions and maybe create this kind of connections because the thing is all people like to talk about themselves i'm also considering more and more and i haven't done it yet but freelancing so this is also an option so yes there are plenty of things that you can that you can do and I will try to keep this in my head for the rest of the week, like a mini habit that I want to implement to find the best in every situation, find a hidden blessing and to kind of build up this trust that the universe has its way why things are happening like this. And it's also my job to do my part into this specific uh, situation and just move forward with what i can and with what i Not have released right in terms of finding the blessings in every situation and this is an exercise that i will actually start doing i did it mentally but i want to do it also like in writing i did it mentally today um, during my walk i found this exercise from one of the influencers that i admire the most and she was talking about this exercise where you kind of try to focus your attention on the things that you want and that make your energy grow but here's the exercise you would have to take like a normal notebook or a piece of paper divide a piece of paper into two separate parts so basically with a with a line you will have two columns and try on in the first column to write down the things that give you energy that give you this high spirit vibe but write things that are in your control. So you don't have to write things that, okay, I'm earning $5 million. This is not in, our con in your control right now. Maybe not for everyone. What I mean with this kind of things, it's something like taking a walk in the park gives me energy. Staying in the sun gives me energy. I can do that. Um, decluttering my home gives me energy. Yes, I can do that. And so on and so forth. And also write in the second column, all the things that take your energy away so for example if i stay too much on my phone guilty of, of charge guilty of charge um for example if i'm fighting myself in this negative thought patterns what can i do to change that or if i'm discussing with certain people that are not leading me into the right direction in terms also of positive thinking of or of staying optimistic also something that i can change i can limit the contact with them but this is a super interesting exercise to help you have a clear view of all the things that you can do to put yourself in a better situation in a better mood because that's the moment when you start to attract better situations better opportunities into your so guys thank you so much for watching this a little bit chaotic video thank you so much for being here but do let me know if you tried this exercise and if you resonate with something from what i said in this video i hope it gives you a little bit of thought maybe in certain areas i wish i could share only the nice parts of life in on youtube and i'm really trying to do this but i'm also trying to be as real as possible and to show you that even when you are in, even when you can manifest like crazy and live your dream life, you can still have weeks, months, period of times when nothing makes sense and nothing works out and you're kind of in this loop and you're, you don't know what's next for you. 
I think it's really important to also document how you how you behave with the world and with yourself when you are in those moments and how you manage to grow yourself out of it and to make the best out of it basically see you next time with a new video the one about oktoberfest i'm super excited to, for you to see it and thank you so much for being here bye bye